This is what arrived in the mailbox not too long ago and I thought, you know what, let's turn the camera on, get ready together using this new Danessa Myrick's Groundwork Blooming Romance. Now I have here the Defining Neutrals and I'm actually gonna use a little bit of this just to contour and bronze up and then we're gonna do some swatches of the new one and play with it. I'm excited. I already have my base on. What I used are my Chanel Sublimage foundation and concealer this is my all-time favorite concealer that's what I have on and that's about it I don't have anything else so everything will be done by these products of course I will have timestamps below that way if you're just interested in swatches and this application you can jump ahead but I thought it would be fun to include just a little bit of bronzing, sculpting, um, and probably some eyebrows with this. Both of these palettes are $65. And this is interesting because the Blooming Romance, it says it's a palette for eyes, brows, face, and lips. The brows confused me a little bit because I just don't know what colors you're going to use on your brows. I guess a little bit of these you could, but I feel like that would... That would not look great um, unless you're redheaded and you need some of these tones but overall i would not use on this brows but it looks beautiful for lips for cheeks even for eyes so i'm really excited about this palette when i saw it coming i was all over it i adore the original one and you know what let's just start working with this um, i'm gonna contour a little bit and let's take the color chiseled and start contouring. I use this palette so much. I really like it because it's easy to use. The pomade shades are not too greasy or emollient where they slip and slide. They're like a true pomade. Don't mind my red ear. I've had these pierced when I was, I don't know, 16. But the top one, I tried to put another little pierce in it and it was a little bit close so I had to kind of open <laughs> open that up. I've been really into wearing more stacked jewelry and I was like oh let's let's start putting some on the top ones but you know what even though I've had the car my cartilage here pierced again for how old am I almost 20 years um they never healed properly it's not like i can keep some in and they will never bother me they will bother me if i try to lay down on them even after all these years so i don't know what's that all about i'm using the same color chisel just to contour my face i'm just taking an angle brush and i'm gonna go with this color stone and ooh, let's do a little bit of tourmaline wow i don't think i've ever said that out loud <laughs> But I'm trying to make a brow product for me. And I'm just going to apply very little just to fill in those gaps. I have to mix it with a dark color because stone is just a little bit too light for my brows. But I think this makes a great brow pomade without it being too intense. I think that's why I really like the palette because it's not too much anybody could use this not really mess up because you have to build the product slowly and i think that is a huge plus when it comes to palettes like these i think that's all i'm gonna do on the brows let's bronze up just a little bit Ooh, i'm gonna change the brush this one from wayne goss number 13 if you have it i know he came out with a new brushes i have not picked up any of the new ones but i'm very curious how they are compared to the old ones i'm taking mirage and just bronzing up a little bit i may combine it mirage with a little bit of bark like just like boop i just want a little bit more depth i've heard that you can buy just the individual shade so if i hit pan which i feel like chiseled and mirage i'm going to hit pan quite quickly um you can purchase those separately i don't know if that's all available now or it's coming so i've changed my mind i'm doing harvest 
and Mirage as a bronzer. I like that tone a little bit better. Okay, that's all we're gonna use from this palette. Now let's move on to this beautiful, stunning palette. It looks absolutely divine. The outside packaging also is beautiful. This was the box that it arrived in. And let's take this one off. There we go. I really like overall the packaging of these palettes. I feel like they're very easy to carry with. They don't break. I like that this is soft and it's just, I guess, easy to work with. I like that it folds all the way over so you can kind of hold it like this when you work with it. So I really like the packaging. Now let's, let's swatch these colors. These are the creams. That looks beautiful. It kind of looks almost like a flower. So here are the swatches just of the cream side. They look absolutely beautiful. They are not extremely pigmented, which is something that I don't want. I want something that I can build up. Like, look at these tones. They look so beautiful. You can definitely create some cooler tones or some warmth. You have that beautiful peachy shade right here and that. So I think there's a lot of versatility in this palette. I think a lot of people could, could use it, honestly any skin tone. Here we have the powder side and then side by side, the cream right here and then the powder. I really think you have quite a lot of depth in this palette, so it's gonna be able to be used on any skin tone. What do I wanna start with? I think I wanna put something on the lips first. Let's start with Evermore right here. And I'm gonna use this as a lip line and blend it in. I'm just using a brush, a lip liner brush. That is a really pretty color. I can sheer it out, which makes it very wearable. I really love the formula in these Creams Pomade products. They are so easy to work with and blendable. Um, I think what she did to Dennis Amarix is pretty much brilliant. I'm taking a little bit of XO just right here. And then right at the top. This is very softly. That is such a beautiful tone. It's very easy to work with. I'm loving this. Okay, all over the lid. Let's put this pink shade right here. I'm actually gonna use my finger and just go over. Oh, that's very light. Okay, let's go in dreamy, just a pop of color. I will say my lips are extremely dry right now. I should have put something on them first. Oh, I like that. I like the color dreamy right here for the lips. This is gonna be a perfect lip and cheek palette. This is how I am gonna use it. This is definitely light, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Evermore and contour or like lip line my lips a little bit heavier and then blend it in. You definitely don't have to do all this. I just love to can almost paint the face and play with different colors and depth and I just enjoy that. You could just pick one color that works and do it all over. But I love doing this. I get asked a lot of what's your lip combo? And most of the time is two, three different lipsticks and some gloss on top of it, two, di three different liners. I combine so many products on my lips and I know I'm not making that easy for you guys. Uh, I just really enjoy playing with color. I am loving this. I think it's really beautiful, very easy to work with. You could put a gloss on top. I'm gonna leave it here. Actually, no, I'm gonna take XO just a little bit more and make sure I contour just a little bit or give more depth. I was a little bit afraid that I would not love the tones or they would be almost too pink but no, even though I'm not the biggest fan of pink, this 
is beautiful. Even the deeper ones, I feel like I can really work with them. This is my foundation brush, a uh, concealer brush actually. Beautiful. I am loving this for the lips so far. You definitely have more peachy, a little warmer tones. I think that this is brilliant. I love this so much. Now, I think we're gonna try one eye with more of pinks and one eye with a little bit of the reds. I do have to go somewhere today, so I have to kind of even out eventually, but let's start on this side with Allure. This is a synthetic brush from Zoeva, the 221. And I am gonna put this in the crease. Now, I think I mentioned already that I didn't really buy this for the eyes. I don't wear a ton of pink on the eyes and really I barely wear eyeshadow. And if I do, it's just a little bit of a brown shadow. But I, I bought this for the cheeks and the lips. So this is Allure and this is the cream shade that blended in very, very nicely. I'm gonna take another smaller brush and why not just take it under here, just tighter. I don't want it smudged too much. Let's try Crush, which is the lightest shade and I'm gonna put it kind of all over the lid. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, guys. I'm, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna kind of show you how the colors look. That is definitely a beautiful shade. Let's put the powder on top of it to almost kind of seal in the product. That's really nice. And let's take the powder of Allure and go over the cream. Okay, that definitely intensified the intensifies the color a lot more. I'm gonna darken this up. So let's take, actually I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I really like the Real Techniques brushes when it comes to this formula because I know this sounds bad, but they're not s too soft uh, where it definitely moves the product around. So I, I actually really like that. They're not scratchy or anything, but they're not extremely soft. And with this texture, I feel like you need a little bit uh, of a stronger bristle to easily blend the product. Take a little bit more Evermore and building up this outer corner right here. That is very, very easy to do. I've barely had to work for this eye look. I don't know why I'm not using this mirror right here. Maybe because it had this little thing on it. Blending all of this together and why not, let's go even deeper and take XO, which is the deepest shade right here. And these were all pomades, the last two. And pretty much lining the eye. I'm slowly building this up. I really love the cream formula here because it's so easy to build up and blend in. It's not too pigmented, so you don't, you're not left with a lot of pigment and it's hard to blend out. So personally, I prefer a cream formula like this than one that's super pigmented. So let's take the powder version of the deepest one, which is XO, and kind of set this liner. I'm really liking the way this is turning out. Let's take the lightest shade, the powder one, and I'm gonna put it right here in the inner corner, I'm blending this in. That is the first look. I think, I think we can keep it here. Should we put a little bit of bliss? I'm gonna take, yeah, a fluffier brush. This is the BK Beauty 211, and I'm just gonna take the powder from here and just add a little bit of this brighter shade. It just gives a little bit more life. Same thing on the bottom right here, just blending this out. That's the first eye look. Let me put mascara and I'll show you the finished look and then we'll move on to a more warmer look. Here is the eye look with some mascara and honestly, I really like it. I didn't expect to like it as much um, just cause I usually don't wear these tones on my eyes, but I love it actually. I think it's blended in very nicely. It was a very easy to work with. So yeah, 
that that's great. I really like these kind of mauve tones. Let's put a cheek product. I think this Allure. I'm gonna go through that pretty quickly. Uh, I'm gonna just try that on my cheeks and see. It's an interesting shade. So I'm taking a BK Beauty um, A507, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of blush here. Oh, that's pretty. That's a beautiful tone. You can definitely go deeper, but I kind of want to put this really light shade. I'm curious how it'll be right here in the front of the cheek. It's really pretty. Right here, that's a sunspot. Um, and I didn't really work hard to cover it, so don't think it's the blush. It's just I'm wearing a lighter foundation that doesn't have a lot of coverage and um, the sunspot that always pops up. So I just don't want to fall the palette because so far it hasn't lifted my foundation at all or my concealer. I think it's working really well. That's a pretty blush. I like it. Uh, should I deepen it up a little bit with this? This is Evermore. Are we going to ruin it? This may look a little bit muddy on me, but why not? Let's try it. So I took a little bit of Evermore and I'm going to add just a little bit. Oops. Yeah, it's probably going to get a little bit muddy on me, but I just wanted to test it out. Oh, if you blend it out, I think it may work, maybe. <laughs> Okay, this shade reminds me of a Chanel blush that I love, the one that was released in the fall, that more cool tone shade. I think it reminds me of that. It's not the exact same. Let's do just a little bit more of, this is Smitten right here in the front. Again, I th think that's the beauty of this palette that you can kind of mix and match and create your own little thing. That may be a negative for some people that don't enjoy that, but for me, I enjoy it. Okay, that looks beautiful. I love it. Let's move on to the next look, which is going to be more around this shade right here, which is Desire. So I'm going to start with that on my crease with the cream shade. I personally love these kinds of tones for summertime. When I'm tan, I think it looks so good. I kind of don't want to work with Adorn just because it looks so intense. So because I don't want to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to force myself. Um, again, taking the cream, just slowly working this onto the lid. It's definitely not too intense. I'm just slowly building it up and blending it away. That's actually beautiful. Okay, why not go into Lovesick and see just how that one builds up. I'm taking a smaller brush. This is the BKN12, BK Beauty N12. And see the depth of this one. I am not going to take this color on the lower lash line just yet. I want to make sure if it doesn't make me look like I have pink eye. <laughs> Again, why am I not using this mirror? So I'm applying it and then kind of pushing it up like this. Oh, I like that too. I'm so surprised that I enjoy these for the eyes. Um, I want to take this shade again. This is Desire and put it all over the lid. I think this is going to be a beautiful you know, all over color. It's not too intense. You can feather it out. And why not? Let's take this little pink right here in the color Crush and put it in the front right here. It's pretty. I almost poked myself in the eye. And I do want to give it a little bit more depth. I think I'm going to take the XO right here, the darkest one. Go on my lash line first. This is, again, the cream. I haven't touched the powder version of any of these yet. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm going to take underneath here as well. I almost consider 
the the creams to be the base and then on top of that you can do the powder now i'm going to take the powder and i really want to take the adorn because i i thought this would be way too intense but i really like the cream so let's see how the powder is yeah the powder is definitely more intense it has a lot more color i'm gonna take some off and just try to blend this in over it, I think I'm gonna take the, the more peachy shade to calm it down because it's definitely quite red. Taking the powder from Desire right here and going over. Okay, wow, that is so pigmented. I don't like that. Okay, never mind. Let's blend that away. It's not that I don't like the color, the color is beautiful. It's just so much more pigmented than I wanted. I thought it was gonna be just softer, kind of like the cream was. And it ended up being very pigmented. Just a little bit too much for me. I'm gonna try to <laughs> blend this with my finger and I'm gonna apply the cream just one more time because I really liked the tone of this shade or even the texture, the way it just sat on the eye a lot. And then let's take Crush, which is that pink one and go in the center here. There we go. Guys, did you see just how it made the whole eye look look blended just because I put some of the creams on it? It's so beautiful. Okay, rectify the situation. All I think I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the XO to pretty much line the eye and then we're gonna put mascara on. Okay. I'm gonna put mascara and show you the finished look. And here is the second look, all finished up with mascara. Definitely very nice and peachy, warm. Uh, let's do a blush. And I, I mean, I'm tempted to use the peach as a blush because I just love a monochrome look. But let's try, ooh, love sick. Okay, let's just try that one on because I don't think I used it too much on my eyes. Add a little bit, take some off. It seems a little bit intense. And slowly add it. This is another Refer Brush 04. It's an incredible blush brush. Ooh, that is such a pretty blush. Okay, this kind of, again, this one also reminds me of a Tom Ford blush that I've tried not too long ago. Is it their newer one? I'm trying to remember, I can't keep up. There's just so many new releases. Okay, I love that blush. That is called Love Sick, and I'm gonna kind of squeeze my brush a little bit and get some of the powder and go on top. I think that's gonna intensify it a little bit. Yeah. You can definitely do that trick where you go and connect to them, but I don't want to right now. That is a beautiful blush. I love the, that lovesick, stunning blush color. Okay, guys, so those are the two different eye looks. The lips, should we do a little bit, let's do, do a little bit of desire on the lips. That's gonna make it a little bit more peachier. Just keep playing, you know? I'm also gonna take mm, Love Sick and work this on the outer corner in a little bit. This is another Wayne Goss brush. This is the, his lip brush, I think. It's the best. It's the absolute best. Again, I don't think he has it anymore. It was my favorite lip, I mean, it still is, but I can't purchase another one. So I combined Desire with Lovesick on the lips, just to kind of show you a, another look. I think I played with every single one of these colors and there's not one that I don't like. I think every one has its role and purpose. So we really needed the color Crush, mostly for the eyes. If you wanna brighten things up, uh, the Smitten is a beautiful pink, like a more neutral pink. Then you have more mauve shades. I love the color 
Desire, I think that's going to be very used in my collection because I like those peachy tones. And the deeper ones, you can really work with them, but also build them up. So even if you're extremely fair, don't be afraid of these deeper shades because they're not so intense that it's just going to stain your eye and it's going to be hard to blend. They're buildable, so it just it's just easy to work with them. And again, because they are so buildable, even if you have deeper skin tone, I think these will show up. Danessa Myricks has done beautiful looks on all different skin tones on her Instagram. So check that out because I think she's just a genius. Um, so for me, this is pretty much 10 out of 10. And I thought it would be just because I loved the original so much, but it's the same formula, the same concept. So if you didn't like the first one, you're not going to like this one. But for me, it's what I've been wanting because I think when I did the review, I was like, I want this for lips and cheeks. Um, and that's exactly what we got. I really think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And I love it. I think pretty much the same as the defining neutrals it's beautiful and the tones are this is one thing i wanted to mention the undertones aren't too bright so all of these they're just a little bit more muted a little bit more earthy not super in your face even though you do have brightness the shade adorn that looks very intense it's such a beautiful undertone that it becomes a little bit more wearable even if i were to put that all over the lid because of the more muteness in it is that even a word i don't know uh, it makes it very wearable so 10 out of 10 for me i absolutely adore it it's a great set with this one i'm curious what she's gonna come out with next if she's gonna continue this or is this everything we need love this so much and i'm very happy i have it and that i could review it before the sephora sale because i know a lot of people were curious about it and if it's worth it i think it's worth it i think it's beautiful 65 dollars it's a lot but you do get just so much variety in here and that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.